I'm dreaming in dreams bigger than me. Taking my time, giving to me. Pay my life into a masterpiece. Hi there guys and welcome here. So now we will discuss about Palearctic region. There are total six zoo geographical region which was discovered by Philip Slater and Alfred Wallis. Palearctic region is the biggest of all six zoo geographical region which we now discuss. Now sub region included in Palearctic region are Europe, Mediterranean, Siberian and Manchurian. Now extent. It is the largest zoo geographical region that includes whole of Europe, northern part of Africa, northern China, USSR, Japan, Iran, Afghanistan and Balochistan. Now physical features and climate. Polyarctic region is bounded by sea to the west north and east and by Sahara and Himalayas to the south. The climate is more or less temperate. The region includes both wet forest lands and dry open steppe land as well as large coniferous forest. Wide range of temperature, greater fluctuation in rainfall, greater diversity of surface features are the characteristic of this region. Now zoological characteristics. There are 28 families of land animals. There are mole, shrews, rabbits, hedgehog, squirrel, porcupines, hyenas, camels, donkeys, sheep, oxen, deer, bear, cats and dogs. Two families are unique, Spalaclidae and Slivinidae. Now birds. It include hawk, duck, stork, cuckoos, kingfisher, swifts, swallows, thrushes, blackbird, finches, grebes, loons. There are no parrot in this region. One family restricted here is hedgehog sparrow. Now reptiles. The reptilian fauna is turtle, tortoise, few lizard and snakes, alligator, famous four-tailed amphibians like newt and salamanders are present in Palearctic region. So now we discuss affinities. Affinities mean discussing a similarity with other zoo geographical regions, right? So the animals or birds which are present in Polyarctic regions are actually some of them are similar with other zoo geographical region such as Nearctic, Neotropical and Oriental region. Now we discuss. Polyarctic region shares bears and deers with Nearctic, Neotropical and Oriental region. So the common animals between these four zoo geographical regions are bears and deers which are present throughout these four regions. Next is bovid. Bovid with Narcotic, Ethiopian, Nearctic, Ethiopian and Oriental region. So the bovid is an animal which is present in Palearctic region as well and also in Nearctic, Ethiopian and Oriental regions. So we are actually discussing a similarity of animals which is present throughout these regions. Next is family of hedgehog, porcupines, civets, hyenas and pigs are shared with Ethiopian and Oriental region. So the organisms which are present in Palearctic region, for example, family of hedgehog, porcupines, civetianas and pigs are also present in Ethiopian and Oriental region. So some of the animals are similar throughout six zoo geographical region and most of them are actually different throughout, right? Only pandas and raccoons are shared with Nearctic region. So it only share panda and raccoon with Nearctic region. So the animals which are similar only with Nearctic region with not other uh, zoo geographical regions such as oriental and neotropical are, are these two animals. So camel is the only family occur in this region. Camel is the only family which is which occur in Palearctic region and are not shared by with any other 
zoo geographical region right so this is all about paleoarctic region in the next lecture we will discuss further up to that thanks for watching